Wherever you are across Australia, this is 10's Late News. Coming up, horror in the New South Wales Hunter. A 10-year-old dead, a 17-year-old in custody. We are at the scene of a deadly stabbing. How many more? Yet another alleged family violence murder. We speak to advocates as our leaders try to come up with answers. The PM is now in Alice Springs with youth crime on the agenda. Happening now inside the Optus outage, fixing the data holes, putting lives at risk. An immigration detainee released by the High Court arrested over an attack on a cancer survivor. We have the details. A message to his alleged attacker, the stabbed Sydney Bishop returns to his congregation. A little later in the bulletin, those texts that won't stop all the ways we're being scammed out of billions. But something is either true or it's not. Well, not absolutely. Clive Palmer and Tucker Carlson, the controversial Freedom Tour coming here. The fireworks have already started. From China to Oklahoma, why tornadoes are tearing their way through towns on opposite sides of the world. And a Hollywood star's schizophrenia secret, their message to Australians in the wake of the Bondi Massacre. Welcome to Tens Late News with Ursula Hagen. Good evening. We begin tonight with horrific details emerging from the New South Wales Hunter region where a 10-year-old girl has been stabbed to death. Dating apps. Well, stay with us. Up next, what the bishop stabbed an alleged terror incident has had to say to his accused attacker. And from the US to China, terror tornadoes strike. Are they on the rise? We will explain in tonight's climate report. Focus, focus. Keep your eyes up. We're going hard and we're going far. Former St Kilda football player Sam Fisher has faced court in Melbourne over drugs charges. The 41-year-old pleaded guilty to trafficking drugs interstate. Brendan Crew joins us now from the Melbourne newsroom. Brendan, Fisher is facing a lengthy prison sentence. Well, Ursula, Sam Fisher was supposed to be sentenced today. In a previous hearing, the judge had indicated a sentence of five years and four months would be handed down. Spotted. Well, that's all the news you need to know this Monday, the 29th of April. I'm Ursula Hager. Thank you so much for joining us on Tens Late News. We hope you have a great night. Welcome to the project tonight. No relief inside the 